Today, I'm giving you the top five best boots with an AG sole plate. And that is a very important football boot because if you ever use your FG boots on an artificial pitch, you risk getting injured and breaking your boots and getting a less well-performing plate. So an AG boot is very, very important. And today, I'm gonna guide you towards the five very best. Okay, so uh, technically, the Pure Control FG AG shouldn't be on the list. As a rule, everything that has to do with using FG boots on an AG pitch is a big flipping no-go. But I know that a lot of you guys out there are doing it nonetheless. So if you absolutely must, don't. But if you absolutely must use an FG boot on an artificial pitch, you should go for Adidas' FG AG sole plate on the Pure Control because you get the conical studs so you'll stick less in the ground and you also get a little bit more cushioning because of the boost insole. Now, to be honest, every AG specific sole plate ever made is gonna be more suitable than this guy, but if you for some weird reason insist on using an FG boot, this is the least bad option. Number four is an actual da -da 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 AG boot. <laughs> as the video is about. It's the Puma Evo Power Vigor in AG, and it's equipped with this here little protective strip on the front of the boot to give you better durability, and it actually seems to work pretty well. Then it also has a lot of conical hollowed out studs that I felt gave me a pretty good even pressure distribution. And also, I didn't feel that I stuck too much in the ground when I was twisting and turning and changing direction. So in all fairness, it is a stable, it's a comfortable, well-performing boot, with no nonsense, a solid number four. In third place, we have the Superfly 5 AG, where we also see a lot of conical hollowed out studs. And that's because when you run on an AG pitch, it generates a lot of heat. And heat is really abrasive and wears down the studs and the boot a lot quicker. Now, hollow studs tend to cool down a lot faster, which is good for the durability. So that's a win. But also, because of the shape on an AG pitch, it's actually really comfortable and you get a good sticky free maneuverability with this here AG plate. And because of the fact that the studs and the placement are so close to the FG version of the boot, it actually has a good traditional football boot sensation as well. So you get the benefits of the AG plate, but with a less bulky sensation that you normally associate an AG plate with. Jumping into second place, we have the Adidas X16.1 in AG. And as you can probably see, I think it's fair to say that it looks quite a lot different from the Superfly 5. It has a shit ton of studs and they're quite a bit lower, which means that you'll get brought closer to the ground. And that gives you a pretty good stability, it's really comfortable and also it evens out the pressure a lot more than in the Superfly. And also because you have a lot of studs under the front foot pad, when you want to make those little directional changes, you actually get a pretty good responsiveness in this boot too. And it's actually really cushioned, it's supportive, and the only thing missing for me is on newer AG pitches that have slightly longer grass straws, I could have done with a little bit more grip. But with that said, this is a very, very good AG boot. Number two. Looking at the honorable mentions, I have only one. The original Hypervenom Phantom AG plate, AKA the octopus plate, because you know, the studs look like. <laughs> anyway, so guys, you might ask me, why do I have to go and get a pair of AG boots when I have a perfectly fine pair of FG boots at home? Well, I'll tell you why. Because FG boot studs are longer. That means that they will stick more in the ground. So when you make fast changes of direction, your boots are gonna stay and your body is gonna move in a different directions. You do the math, you can get some seriously nasty injuries from that. And also, because of the whole heat and abrasion thing I talked about earlier, when you use a pair of FG boots on an AG pitch, you lose the warranty. So that means that when your boots eventually break down, and trust me, they will, you have to go and buy a new pair of FG boots. So why not save both your wallet and your body and buy an AG pair from the off? Now, let's exchange one Hypervenom for another because the number one and the best AG plate out there, in my opinion, is the one we find on the Hypervenom 3 and the Magista and the Jembo because they are the same. And while this is similar to the one we find on the Mercurial, instead of the Chevron stud, you get these three little tips 
that made me feel a bit more connected to the ground when I was changing direction without it sticking at all. So you get the sensation of it feeling like a traditional football boot with a smooth movement and actually it made me feel safe when I was playing, which is basically everything that matters to me, especially when I was playing on the newer 4G pitches. If you're playing on an old, worn down 3G pitch, I would actually choose the Adidas X16.1 instead. Both are very, very good, so keep it in mind. Anyways, guys, that was my top five list of the best boots for AG out there, minus 12. You can use this, but you know what I mean. And as I've said, keep in mind that using FG boots on artificial pitches is not only bad for your wallet, but also really stupid from an injury point of view. Don't do it. Get yourself a pair of AG boots instead. And if you're looking for a pair, we have a pretty decent selection at Unisports store. You can find them by clicking the card in the corner of the screen. But guys, which AG boots are you using? You should let me know in the comment section right down below. Do not also forget to subscribe as always and smash the like button if you had a good time. And with those words, I know you've been waiting for it. Here's the giveaway. I'm signing off. Cheerio. To win the Hypervenom 3 in AG, tell me your best personal story that shows why AG boots are so important. I'll pick the best one.